While aviation security has improved since 9-11, it is still a long way from being as effective as it could be. We haven't always been on the cutting edge, in all honesty. And the Department of Homeland Security has certainly made some errors. They certainly made more than their share, just as uh, uh, FEMA did down at uh, Katrina. Uh, and we've got to be realistic and say, well, those mistakes are made, where we're not on top of the curve, that we've got to get there. You know, we're working on, uh, what, four-year-old uh, procedures now. And although they are updated, uh, you know, incrementally here and there, um, I think, uh, you know, a total revamping wouldn't be uh, uncalled for. In an attempt to address these problems, researchers at the University of Illinois have been using computer models to analyze the TSA's procedures and to suggest ways to improve the system. It's very easy to continue to throw a lot of money into technology with great capabilities, and I think there is some value in doing that. But ultimately, if we don't use the technology wisely, we're wasting money, we're wasting our resources, and we're not improving security. For Jacobson, the key to improving the system isn't improving the TSA's equipment. It's improving how it uses intelligence. Intelligence simply means providing the opportunity for passengers to provide information about themselves. If a person is willing to provide information which can be validated and verified, the chances are much more so that they will not want to pose a threat to the system, which represents the vast majority of the several million passengers who fly every single day in this country. By funneling passengers into different levels of screening based upon the amount of information they have supplied to the TSA, Jacobson argues that the system can be made safer and more efficient for everyone. Okay, you're fine. Thank you. From a practical point of view, is it's a waste of time for us to use high technology devices and procedures to people who have a very low chance of posing a threat to the system. By shifting more of the resources to the group of people that we know less about, we can actually focus security resources more effectively, provide a more secure system, and ultimately lead to a, an operation in our air system that we can feel comfortable with, so that we as passengers can feel safe when we get on an airplane.